Okay, Rod, it's not quite the three points you were after, but after being 2 0 down, it must feel like a win this afternoon. Yeah, definitely. As I just said to the boys there, we've taken a point away from home. I knew before the game it was going to be really tough, and to be in that position at 2 0 down was obviously uh, it was going to be a tough battle. But we knew that as much as it looked like we hadn't played well, the conditions was really windy here today, and you know, some of the little mistakes we made, um, you know, we need to rectify. But I just thought if you look at the the overall performance, it was you know, we'd had a lot more chances and if I had to give a man a match award, I had to go to their goalkeeper, I think they've signed late last night, so I think without him today we win this game really comfortable. He pulled off some unbelievable saves, some of it was just us not being ruthless in the right areas, but the way we come back to take a point, I think we'd be happy with that at the start of the game, we'd have took that, uh, knowing that last year he's got in the playoff final. Yeah, um, we, we didn't get going, obviously, uh, first half, didn't really get to grips and give two sloppy goals away. Um, having said that, I mean, me included, we should have scored a couple first half. Um, their keepers pulled off a couple of good saves, I suppose you could say. But, listen, a 2-0 down at half-time, we would have took two, two all, do you know what I mean, all day long. So, we're, all the boys are positive about it. It feels like a bit of a win, really, going into Monday now. So. A couple of defensive errors led to their two goals. It must be a, a concern seeing that happen after you would have worked so hard at the back in pre-season. Yeah, I was really disappointed. Obviously, Ashley's been out, but we felt Ashley's our right back, so we'd go with him today. And I thought the mistake that Ashley just, if he'd have just put his foot through it and sent the ball back in behind, I think he's trying to bring it down and take a touch. And to be fair to the kid, he's hit one from about 25 yards, wind assisted, and it didn't really leave um, Joe too much chance. So you look at that and you think, OK, let's keep going. Um, and then obviously they got their second one as well, and you just think, you know, it's come from a corner, which I thought the corner was really cheap. Uh, but, you know, same again, what we've done really well in pre-season is we've got good blocks on in them areas and people have took a little bit more control of the situation when someone makes a mistake. But today, I don't know what happened, but the kid got a free strike and put us 2-0. We're going at half-time, what do I do? Everybody's saying to me, come on, Rod, get at them. What, what I'd done is I, I didn't get at them at all because I just knew that we was not going to be that bad for 45 minutes. And I think second half, we really, really got, got at them. And as I say... I think we could have had another three or four second half and we even missed some great chances in the first half. We should never have been. I said to the boys at half time, I thought we should have been 5-2 up and we're 2-0 down. Second half, I don't think they've really had any chances at all and we've just peppered them. But unfortunately, as I just said there, if we'd have had another 10 minutes, I think we'd come home with the three points today. But unfortunately, um, you know, we never got that little bit of extra time. Yeah, and we've looked quite, you know, solid. I mean, we, you know, we give a couple of goals away here and there, but we haven't looked like that. And that's what Rod said as well after the game. We haven't played badly pre-season so he knew it wasn't a, that, that wasn't the case but I think it's just us getting to grips it's, you know I mean the warm-up was good it was all sharp everyone was ready and you know ready to go we just got caught with two little errors and then they've scored their two chances I don't think they had a lot I don't think our keeper had a lot more to do than that really so we'll take the positives from it and go into Monday and look you know to get three points there. In the second half your side were keeping the ball on the deck a lot more was that something that you pinpointed at, at half time because there was quite a lot of long balls going in and their defence was, was clearing them quite comfortably? Yeah, it was it. We pinpointed it at the start of the, the start of the game, but we just couldn't get a foothold. It's as simple as that. We never tell our team to play like that. We couldn't get a foothold, so we've had to just, you know, to be fair to them, they're quite young and energetic, and they've got the boy up front, you know, Rory Fallon, who's played a lot of football league games, and they made it difficult for us. And with our little mistakes, that we also um, contributed to their goals. I mean, you know, but. If you looked at the other end, that we did have good chances. I just said to the boys at half time, you haven't done what I wanted. It's very similar to the Dover game, two halves. You know, we didn't deal with our, they, they were quite direct as well. And I don't think we dealt with that. I was a little bit disappointed we got caught out for the first goal because it was from a long throw from us and if we haven't locked on. They've got out quite cheap. And from that, Ashley makes a little mistake. So a little bit disappointed with that. But I think you've got to say credit to Chelmsford today. Would you have come back last year at that situation? Would you have been able to dig in at that situation? Would you have had a manager that was calm at that situation? Don't get me wrong, I wasn't calm on the bench because I felt there was a lot going on here today that just wasn't, it wasn't going our way. Uh, there was hell of a lot going on. So that a man set off, you know, that was a straight red in my opinion, but he didn't give him a second yellow. It just, I can't go on about officials because obviously we've got to try and behave ourselves, but it does disappoint you when you see a lot of it. The one that Robbie Wilmot went through is two yards on. You know, he's clean on goal and the Lions just put his flag up and they're massive decisions. But, you know, the substitutions, I'm really pleased that the bench was positive. They were very vibrant on the bench and everyone wanted to get off. And I just thought putting Jeffers on gave us a little bit more pace and his hold-up play was quite good. 
And, and then obviously the big man come on with a wonderful strike from Robbie Wilmot and you probably won't see a better header. It's an Alan Shearer um, at his best. So to me, it was substitutions that helped change the game. So I'll take a little pat on the back for that because there's certain times that things are going wrong against me on substitutions and everybody asks a question. I think it was pretty much similar to last week really. For some reason we've took a while to get used to their long ball, um, whether it was us being a bit more braver on the ball like we said last week. Um, and as soon as we come out second half again, you see the, the, the change. The team talk was good, and all the boys took it on board. And you know, listen, we, we've scored the two goals, and good, I think both goals were decent as well. Bushy's free kick, and then Shams, you know, header at the back post. Not a lot of people can deal with him in the air. So listen, if we, I think we just had the pitch another five minutes, I think we come away with three points. But I said to the boys after as well, they showed good character. Um, so I think maybe last year we might not have pulled that back and, and drew too well. Do you know what I mean? Obviously. I, I don't really think that them having 10 men made too much of a difference because I think we was on top as soon as the second half started. So uh, I think it was only one team in the second half really and yeah, like I said, the boys showed good character to come back and it feels like we've won the game really. Chris Bush that got you the um, back into the game with a, a lovely free kick, almost identical to the one he scored in the friendly against Sudbury. And as you mentioned, that goal from Sham, that header, he's not going to hit a perfect, a better one, is he? You've seen two two new signings here today that basically, you know, Bushy's got absolute class. You know, any dead balls, um, he, he's, he's got a wonderful left foot. So whenever we're in them areas, you always fancy it because he has got the vision to get it up and over a wall. And it don't take a lot of him to put a bit of pace on the back of the ball. So if he hits a the target, they're goals. Unless the keeper yet again today pulls off an absolute worldy save. Um, he got it up and over, and I think that was a keeper's problem. It just bounced or whatever, maybe before it sort of nestled in the back of the net. Shams won, as I said, you know, Robbie Wilmot's hit a 40, 45 yard diagonal ball, and Shams just got on the end of it, and he's just, he's, he's just powered it into the roof of the net, which was great. I just really want to say I really appreciate all the support here today. It's been magnificent. You know, it's a long way to come. I know some people might be stopping down here and whatever, but whilst we've got support like that, we'll always be in the game. And I know what it's going to be like on Monday night. It, hopefully it should be vibrant. You know, people will start talking and say, look, we were 2-0 down. I asked you the question, would you have come back from that last year? Did you have them players out there that cared that much that they felt in the first half to let themselves down? Yes, we did. And we come out second half and I thought not only did we give them a footballing lesson, we were first and second to every ball round the park. And as I said, if we'd have scored five or six second half, then we'd have won the game. But unfortunately, their keeper played well and we wasn't as ruthless as I'd like to be. Yeah, exactly. Like I said earlier in the interview, I mean, them two, the goals we give away are, are sloppy. We'll look at them and think, you know, we could have done a lot, a lot better. Don't think you can stop Bushy's free kick, and that's a good goalkeeper as well. I think, on, you know, he's probably their man in the match, to be fair, today. He's pulled quite a few good saves off. I think Lukey's in the first half, he plucked it out there and caught it. And then Shamir, no one's stopping that, do you know what I mean? So, two of the goals we've scored, Robbie's, Robbie's ball through is about 45 yards, I think Rod said, the ball through it right on his head. So, you know, no complaints. We know how good Sham can be in the air and how much of a presence he is. So, yeah, we'll look to you know, just carry on from there. And you led the team out this afternoon, you were the captain, or well, named the captain this afternoon, how does it feel leading this side out? Yeah, of course, yeah, proud obviously, it's obviously a nice nice thing to do, um, hopefully I can keep it, you know, it's, it's, it's an honour honor to, you know, to get here today, and you know, like I said, I wanted to stay all, all summer, so I'm, I'm pleased I stayed and obviously glad that Rod's showed a bit of faith in me as well. And just a word on the, the Chelmsford fans as well that have come, this, uh, as we mentioned, it's a very, very long trip. Um, no supporters, coach, there's still quite a few behind the goal there, making a lot yeah, of noise. Of course, yeah, yeah, we could hear them all game singing, you know, they're great, they know how good they are. Um, and we obviously all respect the fact that they've come seven and a half hours, and, you know, on, or whether they drove or they got the train or whatever. It's still such a good turnout to get that many people down here. Um, so obviously we can, we can, you know, obviously a midweek game Monday, if we can get a load of people through the gate Monday, it does make a difference having more and more people behind the goal, as you can see, you know, it rears us on and keeps us going. So yeah, nothing but respect for them. Plenty of positives though to take into the game on Monday night against, against Margate. Don't know what their result was today, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Spirits will be high from your lot. Yeah, of course. I think on the way back, it helps give us a bit of a journey. We've got a long journey back now. So, you know, we're obviously, we're getting prepared for that now. Um, you know, and Monday we want everybody out and we want to make, uh, you know, our own ground a fortress and that's what we're going to do and, and I really believe that if we can put in performances and work ethic like that, then, you know, I always said, one thing I guarantee Chelmsford City is my, my lads will always go out and have a battle and I'm sure there's people here today at 2-0 down um, probably was thinking, oh, hold on a minute, what have we got here? But they've got to be patient, they've got to give us a chance. I'll... You know, I'll do everything I can for them to try and make us successful. But they've got to sort of back us as well. And I'm pleased that today they've seen a little bit of a performance where if we are losing, are we all going to go behind? 
we've certainly got enough characters and we've got enough players in our in our squad that can change a game for us and and I think they've witnessed that today so you know we'll go again Margate not interested how they got in I'm not interested in how anybody got on today other than Chelsea as far as I'm concerned yeah, this league's got a long, long way. It's only just started today. So um, we just worry about what Chelsea are doing and what my players do. Listen, we, we need to just focus on ourselves like we did today. We didn't focus on them. Um, first game of the season, not, don't really know too much about them because they've obviously got a new side anyway. Margate have got a new side. They won today. Doesn't mean anything really because we could have won today. It doesn't mean, you know. But listen, they've obviously won, but we've come back off a really, really long trip and I don't think a lot of teams are going to come here and get that much, to be honest. It's not a nice pitch. It was dry. It was, you know, it was warm. So to come here and get the two um, uh, one point, you know, it's not a bad result, I don't think, in the end.